Kigali International Airport. Today I'm going to fly on this Boeing 737 with Rwanda Air across from here in Rwanda to Gabon and then on to Benin. Wish me luck. Welcome aboard this Boeing 737-800. Here we see the first four rows, which are business class. And on today's flight, there was one VIP using the cabin. I managed to grab the empty row five, which is the front of economy. And I really like the simple color scheme and the African motif on the wall in front of me. It kind of reminds me of the Fiji Airways pattern, which adorns their aircraft. Seats are pretty basic, adjustable headdress and a socket to plug in headphones and a choice of six channels to, in theory, listen to music or movies. I say in theory because, as you'll see later, things went a bit wonky with the movie. Rwanda Air flies to over 25 destinations in Africa, Asia, Europe, Middle East, even the US. And their fleet includes Boeing 737-700s, 800s and Airbus A330s. The pillows here are a bit flimsy, but to be honest, I'm just happy to have a roll to myself and uh, any pillow at all. This is actually the third flight of the day for me. I've been awake all night, flown in from Cape Town to Johannesburg to Kigali. So if I look a little tired, that's why. Anyway, let's enjoy the takeoff and the views leaving Rwanda and flying over Northern Congo. One of my dislikes about these front rows in economy are the non-adjustable armrests and consequently the tray tables they store within them. On new aircraft, you just press down and they pop up and out. On this aircraft, you have to have very small, nimble fingers to pinch the tray and pull it out, which somehow I managed to fail and uh, cut myself in the process. Alas, breakfast was served, a hash brown, sausage, beans, and some kind of tasteless round omelette. The fresh fruit was delicious, and later they brought round a nice, fresh, warm roll. The cabin crew noticed my bleeding finger and took pity on me, and brought round a couple of beers to numb the pain. Good job. The TV screen above me dropped down and started playing a Men in Black movie. So, in excitement, I plugged in my blue Rwanda Air headphones, as there was still about three hours of flying to go and very little else to do. But to my disappointment, the audio channels were playing in French. How I regretted not paying attention in fourth year French class at school now. As you can see, it was a pretty empty, relaxed flight. There was only about 50 passengers flying from Kigali to Libreville in Gabon, um, and most of them disembarked in Gabon. At Libreville, new passengers came on board, and in fact, the flight became 100% full for the last leg up to Cotonou in Benin. That was the final destination of this flight. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of this flight as we swoop through the clouds, descending into Gabon's main international airport. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to see more as it really helps me grow the channel. And until the next time, happy travels. Gabon and the majority of the passengers seem to have gotten off. Just a few of us left, so more are going to come on and then off to Con Cotonou. I keep saying that name wrong. Cotonou. In the, that's the final stop of this trip.
Welcome to Benin.